Chief strategist Steve Bannon is gone from the White House, and he might be taking some of his supporters with him. Bannon has been a key figure in President Trump's path to the presidency. He ran the Trump campaign before the election, and his website Breitbart was a key media supporter of Trump's campaign. But now that Bannon is gone, Breitbart's support for Trump seems to be on the decline. The site ran a story that said, quote, With Bannon gone, there is no guarantee that Trump will stick to the plan, and other critics agreed. Whether it's on the Paris Climate Accord, on, any, on the wall on the border, on, on holding China in check on trade, something that Bannon's probably last outgoing interview was really explicit on, he was the best hope and the biggest, the biggest voice for conservatives that was close to Donald Trump. Bannon will head back to Breitbart and insisted there's no bad blood, telling Bloomberg he's, quote, going to war for Trump against his opponents on Capitol Hill, in the media, and in corporate America. But his departure could still be a blow to the popularity of an already embattled president. Trump's approval rating is hovering around 40% according to a Monmouth University poll. Bannon's removal likely won't win Trump much support among his critics, with some saying this won't substantially change the administration. Democratic Representative Ted Lieu tweeted, quote, The problem is still POTUS. And it could alienate some of Trump's base whose views align with those of Bannon. Republican Representative Steve King said, This looks like a purging of conservatives. The odds of him completing his campaign promises have been diminished by this. But the majority of Trump supporters are loyal. Over 60% of people who approve of Trump say they can't see him doing anything that would change their minds about him.